Hey guys, so today we're going to learn a little bit about the web browser. What is a web browser? You might have seen icons like this, and I'm sure you recognize some of them, but you need to know a little bit more about what they represent. So let's find out today, what is a web browser? The first thing that I need you to know, the most important thing, okay, is that a web browser is a software application. It's a program that allows us to browse the internet and view web pages. Because of a web browser, we're able to load websites onto our screen and interact with them. That's the first thing a web browser is able to let us do. Second, a web browser has an address bar at the top, which is also a search bar. A lot of browsers have come together where they have put in one bar a address bar and a search feature in the same bar. Okay, so you can type in a phrase or a keyword, press enter, and it will search a, a search engine for you automatically. Or you can type in a web address and go straight to a website. A web browser also has tabs in which various web pages are opened, and this we call tabbed browsing. I'm going to give you an example of that in a minute or two. A web browser also allows us to save web pages for later viewing. So we kind of bookmark them. That's what we call it. We bookmark them or we favorite them. You can use bookmark or favorite interchangeably. So bookmarks are used and can be categorized in folders and bookmarks are also called favorites. Web browsers also contain the following. They contain history, cookies and a cache. Now cookies are just text files. They're not anything else. Okay. These are used for tracking, speeding up websites, and keeping a record of sites that you have visited. Yes, a record of sites that you have visited. Let's have a look at popular web browsers on the market today. First and foremost, one of the most popular web browsers is Google Chrome. There is the icon for Google Chrome. Google Chrome has been around for a while. It's a very, very well-known web browser. Next. We have this one. Do you recognize this? This is a recent upgrade. Well, at the time of making this video, it is Microsoft Edge, the new Microsoft Edge, not the older Microsoft Edge. This Microsoft Edge is actually based on Chromium, okay, which is what Google Chrome is based on. So it's actually pretty good. I've been using it, can't complain. Here is another one. Also, this one has been around a long, long time. Very secure, very stable. Highly recommend this one, Mozilla Firefox. Great web browser. This big red O has also been around for a very long time. It's called Opera. I can't say I know many people using Opera, to be perfectly honest. And, of course, the old one for the Mac users, Safari. Safari has been around for a long time as well. But I think most people are using Google Chrome these days, even on the Mac. Okay, sorry, guys. Safari is still around, though. Still around. So, this is the software that we use to view web content. That's what a web browser is. Software to view web content. So, knowing that now, let's have a look and see... What do we have in terms of the features that browsers offer? And you'll find that most of these features are quite generic or uh, across all browsers. So you'll be able to figure it out on almost any browser that you're working with. The first one is bookmarks. Most browsers that I know allow you to bookmark a website so that you can go back to that website without having to remember the address or access your history. You can see that we also have a bookmarks bar right underneath my address bar. This is my browser, and you can see I've put my favorite bookmarks into folders with subfolders and straight onto the bookmarks bar as well. And that just means I can access them quicker and keep things organized quickly in reach without having to go through too many clicks to get to what I need to find. This is really nice, and a lot of common uh, popular browsers, or a lot of common new browsers, support this. Browser extensions. An extension is what we used to call a plugin. Now we call them extensions. An extension is simply something that you can add to your browser to enhance its functionality. For example, I've got a couple of extensions here. For example, the Adblock Plus extension. That's an ad blocker. It blocks ads. I don't like seeing ads. I've got another one called print-friendly and PDF. 
really nice ad on there it goes and redoes the web page for me in a way that takes out the ads and extra fluff and just shows me the content for me for printing in a really nice and clean way there's a couple of other ones there as well my favorite sitting at the bottom there full page screen capture really nice extension there most browsers will have a home page or a start page which you can customize this is my starting page in Microsoft Edge. It's got all my favorite links on the page and I can then go to wherever I want to go right from the get-go when I start the browser. Other people prefer to have a search engine open where they can access Google right away and that is their start page. So the start page or the home page is simply what opens up on your screen when you start your browser. Now, this is an interesting one, the history. Everything that you do is recorded in your browser's history. Every site that you go to, every action you take is recorded in the history and the cache files of your browser. And almost anybody can look at them. Okay, so be aware of that because it is accessible and it is public. Be careful because you might want to delete your history now and then just to clean up the cache, but also if there are any dangerous things lying in there, like in the cookies where it can redirect you to certain sites, you might want to clear those up. Be aware that most of your web browsers have a settings section and in the settings section you've got many many options. All the stuff that you can change from appearance, new tabs, site permissions, languages, printers, it's all there. Have a look when you get a chance, open up the settings of your web browser and see what sort of settings you have. Now earlier I spoke about tabbed browsing. Tabbed browsing is actually quite straightforward. Before we had tabbed browsing when you opened up a new window or a new website you could only open it up in a new window a new browser window which means you had multiple windows if you had more than one website open it would be open in a new window each time so you had many windows then someone thought you know what let's just use tabs instead put them in the tabs instead of windows and so now we have tabbed browsing so you can have multiple websites open in one browser window so just to recap when we talk about a web browser this is what we're talking about it's a software application that allows you to view pages on the internet it has a URL or a web address bar which is also a search bar it has tabs which open up at the top of the window which we call tabbed browsing so you can have more than one website open at the same time we have bookmarks, which are basically just saved pages or saved links that we can visit then again in the future. And a web browser also has a history, a cookies, little text files to keep your preferences, and a cache. A cache is where the temporary files are held for the web pages to help speed things up. That is your web browser.